On this Earth Day, we take time to appreciate everything Mother Nature provides us with, and we focus on how we can take better care of her. One group called Earthship Biotexture it takes care of Earth by building sustainable homes that don't just take better care of our planet, but also take better care of you. Sarah Costa spoke with someone who lives in an Earthship home and builds them, who says they're always ready to live comfortably without impacting the environment. With warmer climates, erratic weather, drought, your home could easily cost you lots of money in utility bills, endure damage, or lose access to necessities like thousands of homes did during the 2021 winter storm. It's why since the 1970s, architect Michael Reynolds invented the concept of earthships, homes that can function independently and are also sustainable and friendly to planet Earth. You know, conventional housing is almost like being sort of on a life support system in a way. You know, the only way that that conventional building can exist is with all these tubes and wires, you know, being connected up to it and mechanically sustaining it, where the Earthship has, has none of that. Phil Basehart has lived in an Earthship for over 20 years, builds them and educates others on how they work. Earthships are built with natural and recycled materials like tires, mud, bottles, and cans, with energy conservation in mind using things like solar panels. Earthships are uniquely designed to produce water, electricity, and food for the people that live in them. Get this, they are always 70 degrees inside, no matter the heat or cold on the outside, using a system of thermal mass, aka tires packed with soil, and passive solar heating. We, we also cool with uh, convection. So we kind of harness these, these natural phenomena and, uh, and heat and cool the buildings passively. Um, and they're oriented towards the sun. Every drop of water that lands on an Earthship roof is used four times over, drinking, showering, flushing toilets, and then that gray water is used to water plants that generate food. So homes can subsist and even thrive without taking water from the ground or municipal sources. The biggest obstacle Basehart says they face can be city code violations, which is why most are built in rural areas. So there's ways around it, but yes, it, it can and has been uh, challenging. Basehart says these homes are not only practical, but says living this way also helps out our planet. He says climate change is real and real changes on how we live need to be made. So we do need to start to wake up to how our comfortable lifestyle here in the U.S. is impacting um, the environment around us. And it is a real thing. And there are solutions and they're not they're not uncomfortable solutions. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. And some earth ships can be expensive and luxurious, so some can cost up to a million dollars. However, if you want a smaller or more affordable earth ship, you can learn to build yourself one. Earthship Biotexture has an education apprentice program that teaches their concepts and how to build your own. You can check that out on our website for more information.